Yeah, well, Franklin College head track and field coach Paul Sargent and coach the outdoor preseason polls for both the men and women have been released by the HCAC on the women's side. You picked first, the men fifth. But uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, the women won the indoor championship and uh, strong contenders for the outdoor. Yeah, um, the nice part about outdoor is that you have a good read on what most everybody has. I mean, you may have a random basketball player that carries over, but for the most part, you kind of have an idea what people have. So. Uh, it's a little bit more fair rankings, I think, than indoor at times. So, it's, I mean, you look at that, I think they're, what, uh, six for us, two for uh, Hanover, and two for Manchester. So, and I think that's the way it's going to be. It's going to be a hard-fought battle, and it's going to be whoever stays healthy. Um, you know, I, I think that we're, you know, we can we can mix in really nicely. We're a better outdoor team than we are an indoor team, but uh, it all depends on that health and, and uh, our approach once we get there. Who are some of the top uh, women's players uh, that uh, the fans should be watching for this uh, spring? Well, for us, obviously, it's our seniors. You know, you look at that group, you know, it starts with, uh, you know, really uh, Jenny Nevitt in the vault, and that kind of gets off going. And actually, in this meet, it kind of switches around. We go to Javelin to begin with. But really, it's, you know, the field events get us started. Um, Obviously, Murdoch's a big player in that. Um, Hyla College scores some key points for us. Uh, Natavia Howell's a big one for us as well. Rachel Lucas, you know, and then you jump down to that junior class. Uh, Emily Young and Casey King. I mean, that's just a good group that can really do some serious damage there. Well, on the men's side, uh, finished sixth in the indoor, but picked fifth on the outdoor, and got some good seniors to we lean do. on. We do, and I, I you know, I, I am uh, uh, humbled by the respect I think that the coaches showed us because we 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 had a good conference meet, but we weren't a very good indoor team to be honest. We just uh, had some injuries and uh, weren't as in, in shape as we need to be. Um, but you're right. I mean, those seniors will carry us, and, and they showed up big at the conference meet. It became a pride thing, and, and that's exactly what we're going for. I, you know, I, I'm not sure we can challenge in that top three group, but we're going to get everything we can to kind of jump up and see how close we can come to Bluffton when it's all said and done. And who are some of those individuals? I mean, again, you look at that senior group. You know, Blake Albrecht's a, a much better outdoor athlete than he is indoor. Um, uh, you know, the 10K he'll mix in pretty predominantly. Um, Clay Warner in the jumps, obviously. Um, Michael Eisenagel in the sprints. Matthew Eisenagel. Uh, in the uh, in the hurdles, and then Andrew Bonnerant uh, with some some javelin stuff. Uh, you know, and we got some fillers in between there. Obviously, uh, uh, Eric Thompson's a, a key player for us in that mix as well. But you know, those are the guys that are going to do some damage for sure. Well, that's the coach. What are some of the key meets that uh, for your team this spring during the outdoor season? <laughs> you know, we've got a weird outdoor schedule to be honest. Uh, spring break just hits us in a in a, in a not so great time, and, and this year actually splitting going two different places on spring break. So. Uh, that meets a key one, whether, whether that be at Hanover, whether that be at Washington University in St. Louis, um, because that's that's going to be a month of training under our belt uh, with the outdoor season um, and, and kind of see where we're at. So depending on how that comes out, um, hopefully get some better weather than we did last year and the, and the year before that. Um, and then the D3 championship meet is a big one for us. Um, that's a tough one because we're just coming off break and we're not, you know, we're trying to scramble and see who did what and who stayed healthy over break. But at the same time, that's a good one. To, to, we know where we're going to fit in there. By that point in time, we've got a roster that's pretty set, and we know what things look like. All right. Thanks for your time, and the best of luck this uh, outdoor season. Thank you. Appreciate it.